Today we're looking for some inspiration, that's French for inspiration, because I'm currently kind of in between housing, I'll be moving again this year, which means I can't set up a real nice reptile room just yet. So today I am simultaneously stealing your ideas while giving you reviews from zero to five stars. Jumping right in, starting with this one. As a kid, I would adore this room. I loved like to make things look as naturalistic and naturey as possible just in my bedroom. Even now, I still like it. It's not what I would do now, but I like how dark the room is while each enclosure really has nice vibrance. What I don't like is how random the enclosures are. They're all like at different depths and I, I just don't like the layout that much, but I like the idea. So we're gonna start it out with a clean three stars. And I think there's gonna be a ton of variety in these rooms. For example, this one is like totally different. It's a lot more based around being a, a bedroom, I assume, while also having reptiles in it. There's plushies, so that's an instant plus one star. However, there is the doge mat, which is a minus one star, sadly. So we're back to a blank slate. Um, there's not actually too many reptiles in here. It's just, it feels like there's so much stuff just crammed all around and everything's kind of random. Like nothing really matches. I don't like that gray, it looks like a fi like a big industrial filing cabinet. There's so much stuff just stuck around. It's not what I would do. And because I like the other one more, I have to give this one two mm -hmm. stars, because in the end, I guess it's all relative. It's nothing personal, it's just not my pick. Negative 10 stars. Okay, that's the lowest rating I've ever given. The ball python looks fine, but so many people used... <laughs> I have an aneurysm, I forgot what I was saying. So many people used hashtag go herping reptile room on non reptile rooms. Zero stars. Why do your walls have creases in them? Why does the floor have creases? Like, I. I guess they're just tiles. Obviously, like if you're on a budget or if you want them to be easy to move around, these tubs aren't bad. You've got a Christmas tree tote. Uh, I, I'm, I've actually used a couple of these with like the industrial yellow lid, the blue tub. Why are all the tubs different? Not, nothing matches. I'm looking for like, I look at a room and I'm like, mm, this is satisfying. But so far, I don't like the start we're off to. I don't know. It's so bland. It's a no from me. The problem is I prefer this in the room. Does that mean I have to give this one one star? A friendly reminder, I am reviewing the aesthetics, the layout, how much eye candy there is. And this one has zero eye candy. It's one star. <laughs> See, I have a heart. It's, it's hard for me to give these bad reviews. It hurts. This one, I'm a bigger fan of. See how all these match? It's all the exact same brand or whatever. Even though it's different on the inside, I, I'm guessing it's what, leopard geckos or something? I can't really tell. And then on this one, you've got, uh, they're different, but it's the two little tiny water-based enclosures. I'm not a big fan of this shelf over here, but these two, like if I just, if I close one eye, I really like it. This one kind of brings it down a star. Your floor is super clean. That looks nice. Okay, we got close-ups. Yeah, yeah, I like the, oh, there's more. I like this. This, I like the shelf. It's pretty cool, but there's so much stuff on it. I know like you need to put your schoolwork or work, work somewhere, but why right here? It needs to be like covered or something. I'd give this part like four stars. I gave the other parts two stars, so it evens out to three stars. I recognize this name. See, this is a local person. So in theory, she is the most likely to find me and beat me up if I give a bad review. However, I'll still give an honest review. But the only thing I don't like is, well, one, I can't see the enclosures because it's so washed out, but if everything was it, at least the same color, I'd really like it. It's just, it feels kind of random to me. Now, the layout itself, I don't mind. And I think it would look so much better if everything was at least not even the same brand, but the same color. But this does remind me, I just did a video about why I really don't like Reptile Expos. This is, she's a great example of what a perfect Reptile Expo would be. So as a company and as a seller, I'd hit her with a five stars. The room itself, I'd give like a three. But if it was even all just the same color, I think it would up it to a four. It's clean. There's nothing cluttered, nothing messy. Carpet's clean, which is kind of rare to see with Reptile Keepers. So it's all right, but a really cool company and really nice bearded dragons. Speaking of carpet, this is the worst carpet color I've ever seen. I'd rather have like black carpet. I think this is clever though. The the little shelves on the back, I'm a fan of that. Like to, to hang, I haven't seen that before. Why is there so much stuff on this single shelf? Like get a second one and put it over here or something because nothing like catches your eye on the shelf stuff. Like even behind me, I feel like these shelves are too cluttered, but I try to keep it simple. It shelves gotta stay simple. I feel like it's gonna collapse too. I'm sure it's not going to. I think this is creative. I think the enclosures look good, but the room itself, I'm not a fan of. It's fine. If it was, if it was even slightly dirty, I would give it two stars, but because it looks as pristine as possible, 
I'll give it three. This is nice. A lot of recognizable people here. I think I, like five years ago, did a giveaway with Reptile Edge. I completely forgot about that. That's a weird flashback. To the olden days of the channel when I was somehow even more awkward. So this is obviously your new word. I'm going to say it's super satisfying because it's all the same. I guess it's Exeter's. It's all the same brand, all the same size on each shelf. Everything looks custom built. And there's actually other decor up here. I don't know what that is. It's spread out. It's clean. This is like, I want to give this five stars, but why is this TV here? <laughs> There's a switch, so obviously it's used as an actual TV and not like as a monitor to like, I don't know, show something. Like it's, it's actively used, but where do you sit? Is there a couch all the way back here? And if so, I know I need glasses, but there's no way you're going to see the screen. Or do you like set up chairs and sit here? Which just seems kind of weird. You have this massive audience just staring at you. So I'll, I'll still give it five stars, but... I don't get the TV. And that's a really cool LED feature. This one just feels so tight. Like these animals back here, you how do you even get to them? The perspective is a bit weird. I can't tell if, I assume there's an opening here and you walk. It's just so like when pulling out enclosures and stuff, it seems like such a pain. I like this display area here. I feel like each shelf by itself looks pretty good. Like this looks pretty organized and I can't see these, but they look clean and nicely set up and it's not too messy and stuff. It's just so crammed together. I wouldn't be able to work with that such enclosed of a space. But you gotta do what you gotta do and you've adapted well, so I'll give it four stars. This is, might I say, cozy. Got your desk set up here and you can just like see everything. I, I definitely prefer minimalist bedrooms, which everyone's like, well, it's not even that minimalist behind you. What do you mean you like minimalism? This isn't my bedroom. This is my office. I mean, I used to have all my animals in my bedroom and stuff, and it had to be a lot more chaotic because everything was in there. But I think this is a really cozy version. It's like, it's pretty dark, but you've got the Edison bulb just hanging. Again, all the cords are completely hidden because they're just draped across. I guess that's for the plants. Uh, even behind you, you got a couple small enclosures. The, the sitting spot looks very tight. Okay, I don't play games that much. I'm sitting in a gaming chair, but a gaming chair here and what I assume is a MacBook because you got the dongles that has to be a MacBook it's just a weird I've never seen a gaming chair with a MacBook before enclosures themselves look beautiful from what I can tell but obviously there's no close-ups this is just really cozy I'll give it four stars because I like it but it's not my favorite so why is it so green in this room why is there a chair just right there why is it so green why is there a chair there is I assume the chair is here like I assume it's back here right I'd have some very yeah look at the chair do you sit at the table? You can't put your legs anywhere because of that. I, this is completely unrelated. I apologize for getting off track. Yeah, I don't know, th th three stars, but the chair. Why Why the chair? Please tell me. <laughs> okay, we've got a an aquatic setup. Is that a snapping turtle? Wait, is is that a, what? What is that, musk turtle? Yeah, five musk turtles? Wait, five musk turtles and a snapping turtle. That's like a 30 gallon, isn't it? I don't, as far as I know, when you keep snappers, this is what I do, is you don't want the water to be crazy deep, like, cause they, they like to chill in the super shallow water and kind of bask there. I feel like there's no way the snapper can bask under the water because he's he's blocked by that stuff with the lamps. There's so many turtles in there. I feel like a handful of the musk turtles could fit, but why? I'm not a fan of that. Also, what is happening on this wall? It's like picking items out of clouds. I can like, this looks like Luigi. For some reason, I just see his nose right there. And then his hat, and he's running to the left. What'd you do to your poor wall? This shelf looks fine, very standard. It's just this section. This is like a one star zone. <laughs> this is, uh, that's like a three star zone. I mean, yeah, it's fine. It's just a cheap, affordable plastic setups for everything. I don't know anything about mammals, so I won't comment on that part. Mm -hmm. Two stars, I gotta give it to it. It rounds out. You got the one star zone and the three star zone, you get a two star room. <laughs> It's nothing personal, it's just, what is this? This is pretty creative, but also very simple. Just build all the wood yourself to the exact shape of your room. So it just perfectly goes around the TV. See, Reptile Edge, you can see this TV without <laughs> sitting 20 feet away. <laughs> and then, you, yeah, you just got the bed. If this were snakes, I'd be like, ah, I think you should move the hamsters to another room, but I'm, I'm guessing leopard geckos don't care about the scent of hamsters. I don't actually know. This, at least for the picture, I, if you had like moved that, that's a plus one star, even if you just pretend that's not there. My only other thing is like, I feel like the lamps would really reflect off the TV and be annoying, but I think it's a creative use of space and you did your uh, hard work drilling it all together. So like 3.68. If it were cleaner, I'd go higher. And I think you should paint the wood. I think it should be, I'd paint it black, but maybe you could do white or red. I don't know why I said red. I feel like that would look cool. Also, there's some plushies up here. So I'll give it four. We got base camp. 
Exit is sponsored. Sponsored by Exeterra. This video is not sponsored by Exeterra. I think it's, it's, I like how it opens up. It's very grand. The entrance is the nicest part. This actually looks a lot like my old room, like how I had it in my parents' room. I had this exact shelf and I just threw on enclosures that however they fit, put lamps and heat mats underneath. Nice cord management. And then I also had some wooden enclosures with uh, carpet pythons and just stacked stuff on top. So this feels very, like this feels kind of like my old room. It's not what I want in the future. I like the entrance. Everything feels a bit random back here, but three stars. I don't, I don't feel comfortable giving more or less than three stars. It's quite the three star episode once again. This one, this is so cluttered over here. I think that's actually the same shelf as that, just gray. Two stars. I don't know. Again, enclosures. They look fine. I can't actually see that enclosure. That hurts my eyes. Just two, two stars. I really have nothing to say about it. <laughs> what is this camera quality? It's so grainy. Your ISO is so high. Why did, are there no lights in this room? You used a flash. It looks like a, I'm supposed to see a ghost in one of these windows or something. These are really cool windows though. I like that. Look at that collection. You got Candyland, Life, Sorry. That's all I recognize, honestly. Um, <laughs> okay, anyway, I think this is super clever. The little cube storage. I, those probably aren't super cheap, but I think they look good. And you use clearly some for storage, probably for supplies and stuff. So it's very hidden. I like that storage. And then you're using the others for the smaller tubs or whatever else you've got. These are such creepy images. Like I expect just a face right here. I guess you, is your power out? Like what's going on? The power's not out because this lamp is on. You just have a very dark room for some reason. I feel like if the lighting was better in this room it would look like four star material in its current state it's like three star material but i think this area is quite cool you still have the open windows and everything it's not being blocked it's all white it matches your trim believe it or not I, okay i'll give it 3.5 stars because four is just a little too high this is quite satisfying cozy got the like the crazy hippie tapestries. There's so many colors on this couch. What is going on? These pillows are chaotic. Very, very um, colorful, like literally colorful. These enclosures are quite cool. I like the layout. It's super symmetrical. I say super so much. I'm just realizing that because I put super in the title of a video and now I keep saying super. Okay. Anyway, I like the placement where the couches looks quite nice. I'm, I'm a big fan of this. These are cool. All live plants, chameleons. I didn't even notice those under there. They're so hidden. Like even though they're open and in plain sight, they're quite hidden in the picture. This is nice. Got the plants in the corner. This reminds me of those Build-A-Bear, the plastic Build-A-Bear drawers. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel like it's going to collapse. <laughs> I assume it's not plastic, <laughs> but I don't like that side of the room. But this side, this is like a five star area. I don't know why I like it so much. It just feels cozy. It feels easy to chill in and the enclosures look good. So five stars. Next up, Pretty random. Why is that chair so close? What is it with people putting chairs like right up to their enclosures, just like staring through the glass? The Dr. Pepper, Diet Dr. Pepper, you need. Okay, you need some better culture. Oh, once again, it, I assume these are also a shelf thing. So maybe the other person is not so original after all and somebody else did the same thing. This is a cool zebra print, like literally photo print of a zebra print. You got a hand sanitizer on the wall. The desk, you've got two home phones. I didn't know people still had home phones. Huh, it's, I like it. Everything's black. It's all very like thin black bits, like thin black here. The enclosures are thin black. You got the nice thin metal um, things. Oh, I like these four up here. I, I like this. This part is so-so. This, I don't know. I'm four, it's in four star territory. As they get like a little bit better each time, my mood goes up and I give higher reviews. So I'm giving it four stars, even if it's unfair to the previous enclosures. Is your house falling over? Is it perspective or is this side of the house a foot lower than that side of the house? This looks like a home built like hundreds of years ago. It looks cool. I like the couch. That's actually, it looks like my, are you wearing my shirt as a, am I wearing your, <laughs> am I wearing your shirt? <laughs> God, I keep messing up the line. <laughs> am I wearing your couch as a shirt? The enclosures are quite dark though. There's no lighting on the enclosures. You've got what I assume is like an LED strip here. Why doesn't that like the strip continue over here? But this is super comfy and cozy. I, I really, I dig this. I don't know why it's falling over. If your house is okay and stable, I, I give it four stars. If it's about to collapse, I still give it four stars. Silver, it's not for me. Plushy, good sign. Leopard gecko, acting suspicious. Super clean carpet. I wonder how many rooms I encourage you to clean. I wonder how much cleaner the world is right now just because of this video. Or maybe you just took everything and crammed it all behind the camera, like I do while filming these videos. 
God, my floor is covered in stuff. Anyway, it feels breathable. If <laughs> I'm getting very like philosophical here, but look at how like much space there is around each enclosure. It's like I can just. <laughs> I can't <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I really like how spread out everything is like you could have crammed a lot of these onto shelves and like scrunched them that way but you really took advantage of the whole space and spread it out. I'm just in a good old four star mood we got four big old Patricks on this one. <laughs> chairs! Chair! Why is it these random miscellaneous wooden chairs in every room? <laughs> I like it. That's cool. This one is like a totally different theme that we haven't seen. It's very boomer themed. Not in a bad way. Like it's, it looks like a, like a nice wholesome grandparents home or something. Even though it's not for me, I like how everything matches here. Like you've got the brown and then you've got the symmetrical black on each side. Even if they're different shapes, I think it works well. You've got the three things. I don't know why those two are uneven. Please move that one down like an inch. It'll make me feel so much. I'll be able to sleep much more nicely at night. And this is, I think these are like the office chair mats. I assume it's because these are aquatic, like to avoid spilling water on the carpet. That's, that's cool. And it really blends in well. I really like this. I think the actual design itself is quite ugly, just of the wood and everything, but I think you did it quite well. Another four stars. Wh what did I say about this being a three star episode? No, it's the four star episode. I'll give it 4.5. We got only one actual reptile, I think. That, that still counts as a reptile room. It's still a room with a reptile, and that's a reptile room. Again, another random wooden chair that you probably never actually sit in. It's just there for decoration purposes. You got a cat that looks a lot like my cat, Sylvester. Can I have Sylvester back, please? Thank you. The plants. If you took away just all the plants from this, I think it would look pretty lame. I, I think it's still look good that you got the wood. I wish that that was also black and not white. That would make it like perfect. You got the nice books. Everything. I, I like this layout. The, the books here. It feels like a nice cozy little tiny house. I'm a big fan. I, I assume this is like a little like New York apartment. Oh, it's in Washington. A, a little Washington apartment or something. This is cool. I don't know how you got the cat to pose for an image. Four star, four and a half stars. In fact, we're just going up and up and up. But I just, I just want this room. I don't even care about this enclosure. Like literally remove the enclosure and I'll still give it four and a half stars for a reptile room. <laughs> I think you worked with the enclosures you have well. It just look, it looks kind of random, I guess. Everything's like different heights. I feel like a, an artist could like give you like an even better way to lay this out, but it's pretty neat. See, there's some hard competition here. So I'm, I, I'm giving this three stars because some of the others were quite cool, but this one. Okay, see what I'm talking about with like everything matching the same theme. He said this is just one corner of the room, but at least this corner all looks like identical. I'm sure this wasn't super cheap to set up, but I said super again. I'm catching it every time. I like how every animal is like out. You got ball pythons. If I misidentify these, it'll be embarrassing. Kingsnake, Demerals boa, BCI, anything else I can see? I think that's it. It definitely does not have that cozy feeling of many of the other rooms. This just feels more like a standard reptile room that's like focused just on the animals because it probably is a room just for the animals. I This is a lot like what I think I'll be going for, so I'm, I'm a fan. And because it's good inspiration, I'll give it four stars. What kind of chair is that? It looks like not a chair. I This chair confuses me. I don't... It, it looks like a punching bag. What I like about this one is, uh, one, I use the shelf and I quite like it. And two, everything fits right to the edge. Even though I like the breathability of the other room, this one, I like how just satisfyingly everything just slides into place. Like, especially this bottom rack. You had this blank space, so you put the incubator and it just... Ooh, that's nice. How it all just comes right there and all touches perfectly. It's It's satisfying. The popcorn ceilings, that's a minus one star. So I gotta give it four. Three, four? 3.9? Four. 3.4. Four. <laughs> okay, I instantaneously, this LED makes it look a lot better. I feel like without, okay, it would still look pretty good without that. This rug fits quite nicely with the colors and the plants. It's a very plants-like rug. I could say. The enclosures, obviously I'm not really even paying attention to the enclosures, I'm just paying attention to the layout and stuff. This is neat. I like this. Here to inspire. Yeah, I think, I don't like how the plants stick out into the room like that. Like, I, I don't know if there's enough space, but if like, you like scooted the enclosure and like, the, the plants seem like in the way of walking. Why are there bandanas tied to the drawer? This is, it's, it's, cha it's too chaotic for me. But I'm a fan, so if this was my room, I'd, I'd completely redo it. Like, if you set this up my room, I'd be like, ew, two stars. But I feel like a lot of people would like this and give it like four or five. So I'll give it four as well. Can the last two. 
also be four stars. Let's find out. I don't think so. Ew. Ew. Why is this so dirty? I don't know anything about fish, but there's so much algae. It seems kind of small. There's also no reptiles in here. Do you sleep on the floor too, floor gang? I still haven't done that video about sleeping on the floor. I'll do the video. This is a cool shelf, I guess. What? What is... I... Okay, for a reptile room, A, there's no reptiles. B, this enclosure looks gross. Reptile room rating is one star. I gotta do it. You ruined the four star streak. Why'd you gotta do that? And the last... Oh, okay. Apparently you're not the only one that ruined the four star streak. The last one we've got today. This isn't a reptile room. Instant... Negative 10 stars. That's what happens when you don't post reptile room but also enclosure review <laughs> gotta give this one a start too a uh not a reptile room b you spelled enclosure wrong c cord management d this red light e that's the that's the next letter right uh everything else okay that's it for that if you want me to <laughs> review your enclosure you can use hashtag go her bean enclosure <laughs> what was it <laughs> i can't remember <laughs> go her bean reptile review <laughs> If you want me to review your room, which actually I enjoyed this a lot more than the others. It, it was more fun and there's a lot more to review. Then that's hashtag go herping reptile room. Yeah, it's the two hashtags. Hope you enjoyed. I have three of other of these so far in the series. This is the fourth one. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.